Hello, my name is Bart Brecka. I'm a surfacing instructor for Design Engine, headquarters in Chicago. I'm going to present a one of three part process in this video of uh, what, what I call the clay bag challenge. And this model is a uh, water pitcher that's going to be baked in the oven, but uh, in the minutes before it's baked in the oven, the clay settles. And I want to be able to reverse engineer uh, that geometry parametrically. Before I start, however, I'm going to show off our one-week surfacing class. This class is a uh, workshop geared at mechanical engineers looking to work with industrial designers. Uh, we also have a, a workshop for industrial designers who have a high level of alias or rhino experience that want to learn pro engineer. Uh, now I'm going to walk into the uh, back-end utilities where we have our surfacing tutorials. Uh, all, of, all of the training material we have is is uh, back in this section. Okay, I'm going to scroll down to this uh, water pitcher here. Log in. Okay, this tutorial, uh, I'm going to basically exercise these underlying geometries to get this geom this freeform surface geometry to update parametrically. I'm going to open the file and drag it into my window. Okay, you can see the the uh, underlying geometry there. Now, if I if I if I double click on this geometry and stretch it slightly, the geometry updates. Okay, and uh, this is what I mean by parametrically controlling the amount of clay, uh, the amount of weight the clay is going to uh, have before it's baked. I can I can increase and decrease this geometry so that uh, uh, we call it proving form, of course, but. Uh, now I'm going to log into the, just delete some of this geometry and kind of show off how it, how it's built. Okay, if I t if I wanted to make the pedal uh, hold hold ice as uh, as it as it as it strikes out of the uh, geometry, I would I would want to increase or decrease this this uh, the size here. So I'm going to turn it turn it a little tighter. Um, at the bottom, you can see I've got a piece of geometry that, that controls how deep the crevice might might uh, need to be. I can increase and decrease this geometry. So I've got what what I consider to be uh, something extremely robust and uh, flexible. Okay, I'm going to take this geometry and move it as well. Okay, so this is uh, this is what I mean by parametrically controlling underlying uh, surface geometries. Okay, thank you very much. That's the introduction to this three-part video series called the Clay Bake Challenge. Uh, thank you very much.